We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Texas Rangers. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Kyle Gibson, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, is a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit Maybe of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more baseball. Jekyll than Kevin. Hyde in this one here today. Biggio. Now batting, Kevin Biggio. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Seven o'clock. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and one. Hit back up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Into the box now, Bo Bichette, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And it's one and one. Biggio aboard here at first with nobody out. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So a two-run homer down the line in left as the Blue Jays take a two-to-nothing advantage. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly, just like that, they take the lead. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. Right Teoscar. As he takes a cold Hernandez. strike at the knees, oh it's 0-1. No outs, nobody on. Down and away, ball one. A bouncer to the left side. Odor has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now a moment as we take a look at the Jays' starting nine for this one. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, you better look out for that cleanup spot. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Randall Grichik at the plate now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with the 0-2. Still only one out in the inning. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Gone! Randall Grichik leaves the yard with a solo shot. And the Jays have moved out in front three to nothing. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that.
In now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, this pitcher better make an adjustment. That's a lot of loud contact. That's four bullets in the first inning to open up this game. Guerrero. Stepping in now, Lourdes Guriel. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Guzman is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. That is, that is. So a runner at first but with two away, good. and that'll Double bring up three Rowdy three. Tellez. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Three runs already home here. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And this one is gone. A home run. A two run blast to straight away right field. And the Blue Jays are running away with it here. It's now a 5 nothing ball game. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. You know, d Row looks like the boys are dialing long distance from the batter's box so far. <laughs> yeah, the pitchers aren't fooling anyone today, Dan. Let's see if this that trend is. continues. And that brings Number up two. the left-handed hitting Travis right. Shaw. He'll so go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's the eighth man to bat here in the first with five runs already up on the scoreboard. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And it's out of here. Back to back, two out home runs. A solo home run there for Travis Shaw. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Taylor Hearn comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Up next is Danny Jansen, as he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. This is line to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a six-run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. At the plate, Kevin Biggio. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. All told, ten men come to the plate here. Six of them score. On now to the bottom of inning number one. The Blue Jays on top, six to nothing. Chase Anderson, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Chase Anderson, Matt, a pretty good pitcher. A really good control. He has a three-pitch mix, a fastball, curveball, and the straight changeup. His changeup has gotten better. As a matter of fact, if he has that straight changeup, it makes his 92 to 93 mile an hour fastball look that much better. If he's on, you'll know early. He'll be getting a lot of quick outs. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The wind up and the 0 1.
That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Man, not sure if he was trying to send a message early in the game or what, but I sure hope this doesn't carry over to the rest of the game. Sometimes things like this early in the game really sets the tone for problems later, but I hope that's not the case. So a runner on first with one out now. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Strike one to start the at-bat. The door on his way to second. Pitch inside the throw. And Jansen's got his man at second. Two out, nobody on. Count is one and two now. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Ball set for the start of the inning. In the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. That last at bat, that showed me something. It's not that easy to hit a changeup over 400 plus feet out of the ballpark. So this guy gets some good extension, strong wrist, and this guy's got some terrific bat speed. Guzman is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. So here's how the Rangers are positioned defensively. And let's focus our attention at the guy who plays one of the premier positions in the game, and that's Elvis Andrews. Listen, when I watch this guy, I can't help but think Omar Vizquel. Came into the league, was all glove and figuring it out at the plate and has consistently gotten better offensively while never losing a step with the glove. Behind 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. And on 0-2 he misses with a fastball. Now a swing and a miss, he struck him out and it's two up, two down to start the second. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Randall Gritchick. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Three and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Guzman in foul ground, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. But they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Leading off the inning, Joey Gallo. And they'll need him to get something going here. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0-2. Multiple ways, up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joey Gallo becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. To the plate now, Danny Santana. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. Biggio takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. So striding forward now, Nick Solak, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. 
Hey, down in the count 0 2, I'd like to see a little choke and poke right here. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 1 2 3 go the Rangers. They still find themselves down 6 zip. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And it's fouled away. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Standing in now, Lourdes Guriel. And he puts it on the ground to second. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Now that. So stepping in, Rowdy Tellens. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2-0. and It's no wonder why they're up seven. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and Bases are empty. One man out. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Third base, number six, Travis Shaw. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Oh and two to Travis Shaw. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Digging in now, yeah, Danny Jansen. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game, And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now that. Adapt and persevere. That's what I always said on the offensive side. Down in the count right there. Batter hits a ground ball the other way. He's able to fight off a tough count and get himself a base hit. Kevin Biggio stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1-0. and Hoping to limit the damage. Here's the pitch. Grounded to first. Fielded cleanly. On to first with it himself is Guzman and the inning is over. Jays add one more on the solo home run. 
Bottom of the third coming up. It's the Blue Jays seven and the Rangers nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. Ronald. And it's the outside corner. It's strike one. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Guzman, a 25-year-old, he's a second-year big leaguer. Right side, but it's well foul. The next 0-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now in the box, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three. And there are two away. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. So now to the plate, Jeff Mathis. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Pops this one up. Coming in is Hernandez. That gets down, and the Rangers' first hit of the game is going to be for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splitter, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on the show right after this. All set for the start of the fourth. And stepping up as the shortstop, Bo Bichette. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Gallo is there. One pitch, one out. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. One and one the count. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, two and two now. Now the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another 2-2 offering. Hernandez connects and sends it to deep left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now back the seventh field. Randall. Now to the plate, Randall Gritcher. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Heading out towards shallow right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Blue Jays go down in order, and they hold a 7-0 lead. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. And boy, they are howling over in that first base dugout. They think that was intentional, and I've got to say, I think I do too. And now you see the home plate umpire coming out, and the message has been sent. He's going to warn both benches. And that's the right thing to do by any umpire, Matt. 
warn both sides and put them on notice that they're not going to put up with anything going forward in this game. It does put some added pressure on the pitchers to be accurate when they're pitching inside because even a mistake could lead to an ejection now, but that's just the way it has to be. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. A one pitch on its way. This is on the ground over to first. To second for one. On to first, and they get them both. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough 3-6-1 double play. Ready now, Joey Gallo looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Aye. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Gallo is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rangers go down quickly there. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That last at bat, Matty V, a changeup right down the middle of the plate. Listen, this guy's got a great changeup, but he can't afford to keep throwing it middle, middle like he did that last at bat. If he does, this guy might be hitting back to back jacks. High bouncer toward the hole. There's Connor Falefa, and that's the second out. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Fastball well outside. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. Toronto leads this one seven to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. Too much of the time, they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at, so the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Thank you, Heidi. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The wind-up and the 0-1. Fouled off. back up the middle and that is through into center field for a one out single yeah man he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first so as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter he's not going to worry too much about it Ronald Guzman is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one a pause and the 0-2 got him and that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. So striding in, now Isaiah Kiner Falefa. First time up, he went down Isaiah. looking. No balls and a strike Kiner to count. Falefa. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Rangers leave one. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that brings up the left handed hitter Travis Shaw. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
high in the air out to center field. Santana has it, and it's a quick out number one. Now batter. Digging in and looking for more, Danny Jansen. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Kevin Biggio. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. He's in complete command of his two seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. And it's fouled away. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Solak is camped under this one. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. But they're still in control, seven to nothing. Now with the play, Jeff Mathis. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Fouled away. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Oh, and this pitch is behind him as he has to arch his back out of the way. It's ball one. Anthony Kay will come into the game now and take over following the ejection. Number 47, Anthony Kay. And he fouls this one off. Kay. Originally from New York State, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Shin Su Chu becomes out number two this inning. Rugnet Odor is in with two away as he takes a ball 1 0. Oh, and they come in and get him again. And this is just not how you play the game. And I have a strong hunch here that that's going to be the last pitch he throws. Out is the home plate umpire, and he's going to send our pitcher off to an early shower. He's been ejected from the ball game. Well, Matt, with that ejection, this is going to turn into Johnny Holstaff day. Now everybody out in that bullpen may have to be available to put the finishing touches on this game. Ryan Barucki will come into the game now, now and take over following the ejection. Number 56, Ryan Elvis Barucki. Andrews will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. So no runs here, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through six full. It's the Blue Jays seven and the Rangers nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Bo Bichette. Bo. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Gallo is there, one away. Now that. Digging in to Oscar Hernandez. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Andrus gets down and dirty. Touche, sir. 
Here's Randall Gritchett. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Fouled off. A wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. Hey guys, right there, you look for weaknesses. Can a guy come in? Can he command in? Obviously not the case in this situation. He went to the well outside half three times, and eventually the batter made a nice adjustment. In now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He's 2 for 3 and looking for more here. That swung on and missed. We're even at one and one. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. Andrus has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One left for Toronto. And they hold a 7-0 lead. Last half of the seventh here. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Joey Gallo. 1-0 and oh the count. Gallo. Yeah. And that catches the outside edge, one and one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just oh, have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Two and one the count. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. And the pitch. Danny Santana stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat, and what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. One left for Texas. They're down by a touchdown, 7 0. Number 57 hitters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching for the Rangers. Ready to begin the eighth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Lourdes Guriel. And it's fouled away. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Throw in time at first for route number two. The third base, number three. Next to bat for Toronto, Bradley. Travis Shaw. Yeah. Joe Pennant will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bounce to first. Scooped up and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. 
Four pitches, all it takes to retire the Jays. But they're still in control, seven to nothing. Joe Pennick remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Joe. Stepping into the box, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Sean Reed Foley is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. First delivery to him on the way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Reed Foley, a right hander standing six foot three. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Guriel comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. The catcher number two. He's ready. Yeah. Here's the first offering. Not Jeff there. Mathis is All in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Able to squeeze this one is panic and there are two away now. Now batter. To the plate now for Texas is the DH, Shin Su Chu. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. No balls in one strike. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Rangers set down in order. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7-0. Stepping up now, Danny Jansen. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number eight. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Kevin Biggio. It was a flyout for him in his last trip committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Swing and a miss and he's in control 0-2. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Biggio is retired. Two down now. Now that Stepping in and ready for another shot. Bo Bichette. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. This is foul right side. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Blue Jays seven and the Rangers nothing. Here's Rogna Dodor now. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Julian Merriweather will come into the game now and take over following the ejection. Number 67, Julian Merriweather. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And I have a strong hunch here that that's going to be the last pitch he throws. Out is the home plate umpire, and he's going to send our pitcher off to an early shower. He's been ejected from the ballgame. Well, Matt, with that ejection, this is going to turn into Johnny Holstaff day. Now everybody out in that bullpen may have to be available to put the finishing touches on this game.
Jacob Wagyu's pack. Will come into the game now and take over following the ejection. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? That he fell behind 2-0 to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. The right fielder, so that 30. brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1 he's hitless in three at bats to this point this is skied into short left center Guriel comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two digging in Danny Santana he was sat down on strikes in his last at bat 0 and 1 the count Popped him up. Jansen is there. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win column. A 7-0 shutout final score tonight. The Blue Jays came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Chase Anderson earns the victory on the mound. Kyle Gibson struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Fans, our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays, seven runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Rangers, no runs, four hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and one minute. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.